Good morning, everyone. I hope you all are having a fantastic morning. I'm starting off this morning trying to get hydrated. I've been doing really good so far. I got this jug, this hydro jug on Amazon, and I love it. It's helping me keep track of my water intake for the day. So I just thought I'd share that with you real quick. I've been trying to fill this up every morning as soon as I get up and get all my water in for the day, but it's really cool. It kind of helps you keep on track and stay with it. I'll link it below if you're interested. I've got lots to do today, a grocery order to pick up. I've got quite a mess here in our mud room, which is usually the messiest room, well, one of the messiest rooms anyway, because this is kind of where everything lands once we get inside the house and gonna work on this room and the kitchen, the dining room. I've made a mess in there with my cricket, and so I'm going to try to see what I can get cleaned up here before I have to leave. If you're new here, welcome, and if not, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you all. My name's Laura, for those of you that don't know, and I'm a stay-at-home mama with two boys, two girls, and my channel, I try to have all things cleaning and DIYs and decor, home decor things, things of that sort, organization videos. So if that interests you, I would love to have you subscribe and stick around. As always, thank you so, so much for your support. It means so much to me. So we're getting ready to go back to school around here. I just can't believe it. I can't believe that it's time already. I can't believe that they're going back. I'm going to miss them so much. It'll just be me and my four-year-old at home, which will be fun, but we're going to miss the rest of them. And it's just going to be crazy because they did virtual school last year. So getting back into the swing of things and schedules and getting up earlier, and it's just going to be different. But let me know in the comments below, like, how many of you are going back to school? Or are you doing virtual? Or what's going on, you know, in your area? My husband also went back to work in his office for three days out of the week. So he's um, gone a couple days a week now. And it's definitely been an adjustment for him. He's been out of the office for, you know, almost a year and a half. So it's definitely going to be weird getting back adjusted to our st uh, schedules that we had before.
So how many of you are kind of thinking about fall? Like I definitely don't want to rush summer, but fall is like one of my most favorite times of the year, like fall and Christmas. I just love that time of year. I love decorating for it, the weather changes, just everything. And so I've been like excited to like go to Hobby Lobby and see what they've got out for fall and some other stores, Michaels and things. And I've got my Cricut out, starting to work on some fall projects. And so it's getting me really excited for fall. And like I said, not to rush summer because I do like summer too. So I just got an Amazon box and opened it. I thought I'd share these with you. They're so funny looking, but what they are is you put them on your hand and you put the shampoo in your hair and then start massaging it around so it helps get your scalp good and clean. And I got them for my kids because some of them have struggle with dandruff or dry scalp. And then my uh, younger daughter, she just kind of needs help getting her shampoo all um, walk into her hair and all worked around so my sister-in-law told me about these and said um, that they worked good for her girls so um, I got some of them to try but I'll link them below in case you're interested now I'm just saturating the countertops in the Dawn power wash I like to do that sometimes like just a bunch to get them really good and clean and then come in here to this Cricut mess. Um, I have what was an old um, kind of spare room that I'm trying to turn into a craft room, but it's more storage right now. So I'm trying to go through that and really make it a good craft room. But for now, I just bring the Cricut out and kind of work off of the dining room floor. <laughs> so it just kind of what works right now, but I definitely make a mess. This is kind of the tablescape that I put up um, for most of the year, but then definitely for fall and around Christmas, I like to change it up and make it more, um, you know, for the season. So I'm kind of excited to kind of change it up here and do some more, uh, do some fall decor and uh, make it look different. I know I've mentioned this before. I think it was in the history of our home video. Um, just if this table could talk like it you know my grandparents got it back in the 70s when my mom was in school and young and oh my goodness the Christmas dinners Thanksgiving dinners card games board games family events just hanging out the, everything you know that's happened around this table it just has such good memories and I just love that it's still holding up and I can make memories with my kids around it too. So I took a little break, went and picked up groceries, and now we're gonna make dinner. 
I'm gonna share with you my mom's meatloaf recipe. It's super easy, super good, um, and yeah, just really easy to throw together. So I'm doubling it because we had some extra people for dinner tonight, my son's friend, my um, other son's girlfriend. So you'll see in the pan, I have two pounds of hamburger. So this is definitely double, doubled. Um, so two pounds of like ground round, ground sirloin, you know, one that's like pretty lean. And then um, I added two eggs um, instead of the one. And then after adding the eggs, I just kind of put in, I guess, a little bit, you know, with the pepper and salt, just kind of shake a little pepper in. Not a lot of salt because we're gonna add saltine crackers. So that'll give it some more salt. So yeah, I just kind of guess on the salt and pepper and um, I'll link the recipe below but yeah it's really simple really easy and quick and we usually make macaroni and cheese and green beans to go with it but you can do whatever side you would like and so once you get um, that salt and pepper added then I cut up about uh, well for doubling the recipe about a half of an onion and kind of you know dice that up toss that in there so now I went over to the fridge to grab the ketchup and my mom, it's, it's this is funny, she says about seven squirts of ketchup. <laughs> so um, since I was doubling it, I did, I didn't quite go with 14 squirts. I think I did like maybe 11 or 12, just kind of eyeballed it to see, you know, how much um, I needed in there. Then I just take this um, kind of smashy thing that I got from Walmart. It's kind of like the Pampered Chef one and just really smash it and mix it all together well. And then I used about a sleeve of saltine crackers. Um, the only ones I had on hand were wheat. Normally I use just the regular white crackers, um, but these actually turned out fine and tasted well. So um, I just take them in my hands. I promise they were clean <laughs> and just scrunch them up, you know, just crush them. I mean, you could put them in a, like a Ziploc storage bag, you know, and put, you know, roll them with a rolling pin to crunch them up. But my hands were clean, it was just us, so I just crunched them up with my hands and then just, again, mix those in real well, kind of smash it in there. Meatloaf, I never thought was a very, like, appetizing looking meal. Just, it's not very pretty, I guess you would say, but it definitely tastes good. So I, um, generally spray this but I was completely out of like spray oil so I added just a dab of olive oil and kind of coated the pan so that it didn't stick um, normally I'll put it in one like loaf pan but since I doubled the recipe I didn't have two loaf pans so I was looking around and I had these so I thought oh I think that'll work so I just kind of split the rest or split it up in half and filled each of these um, circle like cording wear their uh, oven safe um, dishes to bake with there again I'm using my hands this part you know might gross you out um, it is kind of ugh, but um, I just find it easier putting it in there and smashing it down with my hands and then I go I will say during this meal you do wash your hands quite a bit <laughs> so okay I, I don't show that on the video but I am definitely washing my hands with good antibacterial soap in between these um, steps here so once I get them all evenly um, put into the dishes then you want to take some more ketchup you know, after your, your hands are clean, of course, and um, squirt it on top and just kind of take a spoon and kind of, you know, almost like you're icing a cake, just ice it with the ketchup. And then they are ready to go in the oven. Um, I do about, you know, 375 for about 40 to 45 minutes, just until it's, you know, the hamburger's good and done in the middle. And here they are, ready to go with the mac and cheese and green beans. Okay guys, so keeping it real here, 
my hair is wet. I haven't even combed it yet. <laughs> I just took it out of the towel. So after we ate dinner and things, I just was so tired. I did not get to sleep, uh, sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I wanna sleep, sweeping the floors or mopping yet. So I just thought I was gonna end this video um, tonight and then get back at it tomorrow and film some more cleaning uh, motivation for you guys. And as always, thank you so much for being here, for subscribing to my channel, and just for being a part of it. So real quick, I just wanted to add a funny clip at the end. My girls and I had an idea to fill my son, who turned 18 yesterday, I cannot believe it, to fill his room with as many balloons as we could. <laughs> so, that is what we did for his, um, well, we had a lot of birthday celebration, but while him and his brother were at marching band, we were pumping up balloons and filling his room with those. So I thought I'd just share it with you guys just for fun. So I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and God bless. So here we go. This is what 72 balloons looked like. Well, I take that back. We actually popped one on accident. So 71 balloons <laughs> look like in somebody's room um, scattered all over the floor. And my daughter taped some to the ceiling, some on the bed. So he's definitely going to be quite surprised when he get home. But it was fun. <laughs> Have a good night, y'all. God bless.